Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Google Keyboard and some of the tips and tricks that you can use with Google Keyboard uh, and I have been using these uh, uh, tricks for a long time and this is the Google Keyboard, it's freely available for Android devices from the Play Store and I feel it's a very good keyboard uh, but I've noticed most of the people use it just like this but there are a lot of hidden things that you can enable with the Google Keyboard I'm going to talk about that and the first thing is that if you want to go to the settings you can just hold this comma button for a second and you get this icon just hover over that and just leave and you get to the click here and you can go to the settings and from here you can adjust your preferences and whatnot for example uh, if you want the dedicated number row you can enable it from your disable and other settings directly so this is a very quick way to go to the settings and uh, this google keyboard also comes with theme support but i notice most people use it just like this for example this is my google pixel phone and if you notice the keyboard here let's just open twitter uh, i have themed it up it like this so you can even get this effect uh, this is built-in functionality that is there you don't have to install any uh, third party stuff for that just go to the settings again here and you have the theme option and if you go here you can uh, give a theme for example let's go with this black theme and the keyboard uh, will become black if you just go back and you can also have a keyboard border if you want like that so these options are there for example if i go back now the keyboard is now turned to black color and another thing is that let's say if uh, you have a wide uh, phone um, stretching your hands is sort of difficult and this might be also useful if you're just using the keyboard with a single hand we have a quick one-handed mode and to enable that you just press this enter button for a couple of seconds and you see this hand icon just hover that and here as you can see now you get to this uh, compact keyboard you can shift it to left or right if you like and let's say you want to go back to the full screen uh, full keyboard you hit this so it's a very quick way to move between the 100 mode also uh, as you type a lot of text uh, and i know this is a simple tech most of you might be knowing but just i'm going to rephrase it uh, if you want to move the cursor uh, you have the cursor over here quickly over here you can obviously just tap because it's a touch screen and move like that but if you don't want to do like that just uh, put your finger on the space bar and just hover and as you can see now you are able to move the cursor left or right so this is also a very quick way so if you have uh, have some typos and stuff and you want to move around you can do that uh, again uh, there's also one more thing that is the swipe keyboard everybody might be knowing about that so this google keyboard also has built-in support for swipe so you can just hover like this this is a test so you can also use this so this is built-in functionality you get and uh, let's say now you want to type in some special character let's say you type cool and you want to type exclamation mark obviously you can hover over here and click this but there's a quick way to do that I just hold on to this uh, special character and just hover to this exclamation and just leave it for example like this and just leave it and you get that exclamation mark so this is a quick way to get to the exclamation and special characters if you just want that this also works for uh, cap locks for example if you just go to type like this this is a test if i want to make the t big i can just press this shift and just go to the t and leave it it'll capitalize that so this is a very quick way to capitalize a letter or something just hold and just and leave it that way you capitalize that also we have special characters like for example at the read and stuff uh, if you pr press this uh, the period button for a couple of seconds you get to these commonly used uh, characters like at the rate percentage plus or minus so you can also use this to quickly just uh, move around uh, for special characters also uh, we can actually delete uh, words for example obviously if you press backspace you can delete stuff but let's say you want to uh, delete uh, this entire sentence so just hold this backspace and just move around slowly as you can see it's just highlighting the stuff let's say you want to delete all this stuff just leave and that goes you can even delete the entire stuff like this if you want so this is a very quick way to delete uh, stuff also you'll notice that uh, when you type around this is a sample text in this uh, you get these suggestions and stuff uh, over here let's say you're always getting a bad suggestion and you plan to not use it you can actually delete that suggestion just hold this and go and remove the suggestion from so uh, moving forward you won't get that uh, suggestion also when you're typing uh, stuff let's say this uh, uh, this is sample text and you want to end it uh, you just uh, press the period like this but if you just double tap the what do you say space button also it acts like a, a period so you can also use that for uh, adding uh, what do you say periods like that 
So these were some of the quick tricks that I use with the Google keyboard. I'm sure you might, you guys might be knowing some other uh, tricks also that you might be using with the Google keyboard. So if you're using that, do share your tips in the YouTube comments uh, section below. So guys, that's it for now for uh, this video. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.